Well, the British ambassador to Ukraine has told Sky News that Russia was, quote, deliberately targeting civilians in the shelling of a maternity hospital in southern Ukraine yesterday. She was talking to our security and defence editor, Deborah Haynes. Yesterday we had that horrific attack on um, a maternity hospital. Can you just yeah. share your thoughts on, on that particular attack? It defies words, really. It, what, it, what it tells me, kind of watching this, um, is that it's a deliberate targeting of civilians, that it's cynical, that there is no way to um, write this off as an accident, a missile that's gone astray. Um, and, uh, and Russia has form in previous theatres of doing this. So it, if anything, really, it confirms that um, Putin's intention here is about more than just taking out strategic military targets. When he says he wants to go after the country, he means he wants to go after the country, and that makes this incredibly serious. The Ukrainian government is asking with increasing urgency to close their skies. Why aren't we imposing a no-fly zone now? It's a hugely emotive issue, this uh, no-fly zone. I completely understand it, and I'm being asked that by uh, several uh, of my Ukrainian friends. That, too, is a really difficult judgment for um, world leaders to make. Um, but it's also really clear that in so doing, you bring other countries, including nuclear capability countries, into conflict um, with a country that itself is a, is a nuclear country. So, you know, I don't envy, frankly, world leaders for having to have that continual debate. In your opinion, have we ever been at a greater risk of, a world, of world War III than we are right now, given everything that's at play? It's quite hard to tell. History will tell. And I think it's too early, actually, to, to say. And I tend not to, want to, not to want to deal in, you know, apocalyptic sort of prophecies about the thing. It's perfectly possible. And I also think, to be honest, it's, uh, it's part of Putin's narrative. I think it even helps for him to escalate it to that level because it's a goading, if you like, to, uh, to the West to become involved in this conflict that then, if you like, almost self-fulfills the prophecy. As I said before, I'm focused on what we can do to help Ukraine here and now um, to achieve what they seem very, very determined to achieve, which is to push Russia back.